Nell with the blog Joyous Garden and welcome or welcome back. Good to see you today. I'm going to be talking about one of our favorite plants, aloe vera. So stick around for that. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to get it out of the decorative pot. It is showing some roots on the bottom here. I have a huge aloe vera outside that I'm going to repot. It's going to be a big job. I'll show you that. That will probably be coming up in the fall. So stay tuned for that. It probably weighs about 80 pounds and the leaves are so big. But this one isn't too bad, so I want to get it before it gets too out of hand. And I watered this about four days ago, so it's not bone dry or anything. So it's coming out of the pot easy. And as you can see, aloe vera has some good size you know, roots to it. So I want to give it some room to grow. I'm ultimately going to plant it into the pot as one plant, but I'm going to show you how to divide it in case you want to do that. All right, so here is the dividing process here. Sometimes you can do it, oh no, it's pretty tough. I'm, I'm going to take this dull bread knife and just get it started here and just tear it apart. Aloe is very tough. And I'm just sort of pulling in, prying it apart a little bit. It's, it's not going to divide perfectly evenly, but as I said, it's going to all go in the same pot. Now I have this plant, this gorgeous plant here. You can see how nice the roots are. This is a bigger root ball, obviously. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off, the, off this side one right here. And that way, if I was doing an even divide on it, I could plant these two together and I could plant these two together. And then you'd have two separate plants. But for me, as I said, I have a huge aloe vera outside, so I don't want any more. One more aloe vera is okay, but not two more. <laughs> and almost everybody around here has aloe vera, so it's hard to give it away. So anyway, I'm going to just put this back into here, and now we're going to talk about the soil mix, which is a really important part. Aloe veras are succulent, so they need a very light, uh, well-draining soil. Um, you, you don't want the roots to stay wet for any amount of time. So I have a DIY succulent and cactus recipe that I always use. I live in Tucson, Arizona, so I have a lot of succulents and cacti outside, so it's, it's the mix I use for my plants indoors and outdoors. If you only have a few succulents, there are some great mixes that you can buy online. I will leave them in the blog post, or if you're just have one little aloe vera, you can get some potting soil. If you have potting soil, you can just add a bunch of pumice or perlite into that to lighten that soil up. And before I start the actual repotting process, I just want to tell you it's August. I think it's August 8th. Uh, filming inside because it's currently 111 outside. Not, not good for filming, very sunny, very hot, but it's, it's a great time to repot. The spring and summer are the optimum times. You can do it into early fall if you're in a more temperate climate like I am here, but uh, if something happens to your aloe vera, if it falls off a shelf and breaks in January, don't worry, you can still do it in winter. It's just best to do it in spring or summer. And here's the pot I am putting it into, a six inch pot. As you can see, it has a lot of holes on the bottom. And I don't want this light mix to all wash out when I water it the first time. So I just put a piece of newspaper over it and then in a few of them, I just cut holes so that the water can flow out of a few of them. It'll eventually break down. It's kind of hard to do on camera, <laughs> but I'm just poking through. It's, it's going to go through anyway, but it'll just help it a little bit. So, And then it just disintegrates over time, so it helps to not make all that much of a mess. So I'm getting some of the mix in the pot here. I'm gonna put it in and see how much more I need to do. I like to have it up a little bit because the plant is heavy, so it's gonna pull it down in this light mix a bit. So I'm gonna put it in a bit more. And as you can see, I'm doing it dry. 
with uh, uh, tropical house plants, I'll do it more. I like the bottom soil to be wet because they uh, can be wetter a little bit more, obviously. I'm not saying that right. They, um, they have higher water needs than the, uh, and the succulents do, so I like to pot up dry. So I think I have enough in here. And then I'm just going to place these clumps in here. Just, oops, we have the stray here. Let's see. It's also good because I can break it apart a little bit. I can position it how I want it to go. I think I'm going to switch it so this smaller one is here. You can get kind of artsy fartsy with your aloe vera this way. So I have these two in, these two clumps in and all propped up. This was smaller, so I uh, filled in with a little bit of soil here. Sometimes you use your hands and sometimes you use the trowel, you know. A way to wreck a, a, way to wreck a good manicure, huh? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to get just a little more in to till it stands up. And I give my succulents some compost too. Compost and, you know, worm compost. They appreciate it. This is a blend I buy at our farmer's market from one of the farmers there. Does this blend. So I just get going to work in a little bit of this around. This is optional, you know, for you to do if you want to add a little uh, compost or worm compost in. I like them both. They break down slowly over time. It's a nice natural way to feed your plants and then i'm going to get a little bit more of this in this plant is doing fine but you know it just gives it a little more extra insurance you, you know what i mean and i think now all i need to do is just fill in a little bit around and our repotting is done and that is really all there is to it. It is easy. Aloe vera is a tough plant. It has tough roots, so you don't need to baby it too much. So one thing I do, because these plants are heavy, the leaves are heavy, is I just go through and I kind of, just kind of press down on it a little bit to make sure everybody's standing up okay. I put in a, a little bit more here because this one on the side was starting to sag over a bit, so I just... Uh, Pressed it down and added some more because this mix is so light and the plants are so heavy. But this is how it turned out. So what I'm going to do is give a quick cleanup and then I'm going to talk about how I'm going to care for this after the repotting. So it's all potted and looking good and I'm just going to let it settle in for three to five days dry. As I said, the plant was wet. I had watered the root ball, so they had a little bit of moisture to them, but I'm just gonna let it settle in, do its thing, and then I will resume the care. I was actually repotting it every, I mean, I was actually watering it probably every seven days because we're so warm and sunny now. In this bigger pot, I may need to water it only every 10 days here for you. It might be every 14 days or so. We're just in a very hot, sunny climate. So I'm going to re resume the care as, as normal. And I have done a whole care post. Actually, I've done a lot of posts on aloe vera. So if you want a full care post on this plant, um, I'll leave that down below too. But I'll just, water as usual, I'm going to put it back in the spot where it was in the window in the dining room gets a little bit of direct sun not too much i just got new windows so they do filter out a lot of the heat so it probably gets maybe 20 minutes of direct sun but it gets nice bright light all day long and it's doing great just gonna leave all this here because i am doing a lucky bamboo repotting video next so if you're interested in that stay tuned i don't know which one is gonna is gonna post first but i am going to be doing one of that too but i hope you found this to be helpful aloe vera is a great plant to have really easy care just don't overwater it give it plenty of light no hot hot sun and keep it on the drier side let it dry out in between waterings and you will be enjoying 
a lot of aloe vera and aloe vera babies for quite some time to come. So I have lots of videos in the archives about gardening both indoors and outdoors just waiting for you and I have some new ones coming up. I'm posting on a more regular basis now. I have Masami here filming and editing so it's a dream and uh, let, let, let's see. Oh let's get into our indoor gardens and make our worlds a more beautiful place because this one grows indoors. I also have a big one outdoors. But uh, I thank you so much for watching. I thank you for all your likes and your subscribes. I appreciate them. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.